So over the weekend, I was thinking about the content. I keep going back and forth of like, how do we tell a new story or do we keep the story the same but change up the content? This whole week we've been having all of our alarm systems, our cameras, our motion sensors. After Friday, we will be fully up and operational and UL certified. Now that I finally get to meet you, what are you or see. You want watches out in the booth? Yeah, that's what I wanted to kind of see what space we could use to yeah. see what kind of table I can set up or if I can even just bring display cases that look yeah. even more proper. What's up, guys? So these are all just basic polishes, 2GP skeletons on that. Hey, this is Anthony. Back in your Dallas days, somebody commissioned me and said that you had a great story and that I should do a documentary and whatnot. Somebody hired you to write a documentary on the malicious stuff I was doing. Just so you know, there's another jeweler around the corner has the same AP that we had, the 93. It's asking 55,000. What? It's in his window, I just stopped and asked him. Where we're at right now is the perfect team. I'm grateful to have you guys on board. I think six months from now, we're gonna have a kick-ass Hi Chase, this is uh, Zeke calling from the Time Peace Gentleman. I have a couple of packages need to ship to Hong Kong. I want to open the uh, international shipping from our account. Are you able to help us out? Absolutely. Yeah. This account is under Anthony Ferrer. Yeah, yeah, Anthony, Anthony Ferrer, yes. Oh, you know what, you already have access. Oh, I have access? I have an internet yeah. uh, shipping? Okay, perfect, that would be perfect. Because uh, I'm about to uh, create so a couple of labels. you just need to uh, just select from the countries list, that's it. You're good to go though. Got you. Thank you, I appreciate it. My pleasure, sir. Hey, this is Z uh, calling you back from the time piece, gentlemen. So I just got back with uh, Anthony. Uh, I'm trying to call you back and reach you back out. Uh, you said you want to sell back your Rose Gold GMT. He will buy your piece back at 37000 Okay, perfect. Thank you. Is that, is, Thank that you. is that something that you willing to do? Yes. Okay. Tell Anthony, because uh, I know he's getting surgery, and I apologize. Yeah. Uh, I, I, yes. Um, um, I can swing by later on uh, tomorrow. Is that okay? Yes, you can drop up the watch anytime, but I have to wait for Anthony uh, uh, after at least two days after he healed, then he can uh, process the payment to you. No, no, no. I, 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 I don't care about the okay. payment immediately. Okay. When Anthony is okay, I'm okay because I, you know. Yeah, um, for sure. But uh, I just need an invoice, that's it. I can I can create that for you. Uh, I will send a uh, purchase uh, agreement to you shortly. Do me okay. a favor. Can you send me a picture for the warranty card? Because I just need the serial number real quick. Okay. I will. Uh, I will send it over right now. Yeah. Sure. Right. No problem. Thank you. Thank you so much. Steve. No problem. Bye bye. It. So this is the client that purchasing the uh, Rose Gold GMT from us, and somehow that he decides to uh, sell it back so he can use the money somewhere else. So. We uh, called him back and gave him an offer, so he agreed with us. So we're going to have the Roscoe GMT back. Hello? This is the Z from the Time Beach Gentleman. Uh, hi, hi, uh, good. good. I just texted you about Anthony uh, for your contact, and I, I know that you have a consignment package shipped out from the beginning yeah. of this month, and yeah. somehow uh, uh, the package is still stuck in uh, Memphis and FedEx. I just wanted to give you an update. Uh, I just called the insurance company earlier this morning. They're gonna give me a, a, a note later on of the day and see what's going on with the package. Uh, but I just wanna reach out to you, let's tell you that you don't have to worry about anything because your package is fully insured. And I look at the consignment agreement that uh, Anthony agreed with your pieces are 7,500, right? And if anything happened, you would net 7,500. We would not charge you any fee on top. Okay. So, so I mean, that's a good news, but at the end of the day, uh, sorry about, uh, you know, any uh, okay. convenience for the FedEx, but the good news is basically if FedEx really lost the package, the insurer will pay us the full value. 
7500 okay. and then once we receive the fund then we will wire you right away back so basically somebody we sold your watch <laughs> okay. but uh, that, that's a good news but the bad news is it does uh, take like uh, time to process the insurance because uh, the insurance company they will call FedEx and trying to do some investigation see what's going on with the package sure. so that might take a little bit more time but I just want to let you know that there's zero concern on your side about your okay. money and your, and your watch and being loose okay. so it's fully covered and we would and we would not charge you a consignment fee on top so you would net whatever that uh, Anthony agree with you okay, okay? Uh, but Anthony's on uh, a surgery right now, and he will be not able to answer anything phone call and text message on this couple day. If you have any question, just reach out on this number. This is my personal number, and just okay. text me and call me anytime, and I can give you any update. Okay. Thank you so much, Zia. Appreciate it. No problem. Yeah. You too. Have Thank a good day. Mm. Bye, bye bye. Anthony will be on surgery this couple days, um, so he will be not in the office. So just us, uh, we will expect a lot of phone call and text message pass it along from Anthony so me and you have to text him each other and trying to uh, contact people sure Trevor still gonna be contact all the people that sending leave from our website uh, Anthony will be sending text message to me so I can reach out to the client that trying to contact Anthony so the client I was speaking to you about before uh -huh. that has the uh, Hulk as well as the bluesy uh -huh. looking to trade towards the, uh, mm -hmm. the yellow gold sub mm -hmm. he wants to know you know if we're gonna charge since he's going to roll those funds into, you know, the, the one watch, mm -hmm. he wants to know if there's something we could do about, you know, the 6% consignment fee. If we're going to take uh, it on both watches or if there's something we could work out to... Uh, we're still going to charge 6% on consignment fee, but however, the consignment fee is way higher than the uh, uh, buy price. So he's still going to net more than we just do a strict trade. So what we do is we sell the pieces. We do take 6% on the consignment fees and whatever the money left over then we can roll over to the next watch does that make sense yeah but we cannot call make a call out yeah. right now you know i understand mm -hmm. i just didn't know if you want to do something you know for this case you know just because i know we have that bluesy that, that uh, blue dial sub coming in so i don't know if you want to just you know do something different on this one possibly or he want to buy the one that we have well, the one that we have coming in yeah forty two thousand. yeah brand new yes that is really good deal yeah no I agree yeah. I just uh, I just wanted to run a buy you see if there was something else we could do just to make it happen for him so just I, I just figured I'd ask yeah. you know because he was really interested in it so for sure for sure but uh, yeah we have to sell the pieces first yeah we got charge six percent consignment fee and then whatever money left they roll over to the the new pieces got it yeah hello so I'm calling you back regarding uh, you want to buy two brand new Pepsi with Jubilee? Yes. Uh, you looking for brand new or pre-owned? Brand new. Brand new. So I, mm -hmm. I, got, I got an offer on one from, or I guess another dealer that mm -hmm. has two. They've got a 2022 and a 2021. They're fully stickered. Mm -hmm. Pay purse boxes, everything for 43. 43 for a pair? 43k for the pair. Uh, so there will be. So it's like 20. 21.5. You say it's brand new and fully sticker. Fully sticker. It doesn't have to be fully sticker. These nope. ones are. The more business I want to do with you, I suggest you should buy from him because that's a really good deal. I can't beat that. It? I can't beat that number. Mm -hmm. So basically, you're only paying 21.5 for fully sticker Pe Pepsi. Yeah. 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 That is a really good deal. I will, if me, I will give you at least, I have to sell you at least a 22.5. Okay. Per one, per one. We, I do have a pre-owned one, uh, 2020, asking for 19,000, but that's pre-owned. Yeah, I definitely want to go brand new. Yeah, yeah I, I get I get I get it. But, uh, but if somebody offer you 21.5 for fully sticker brand new Pepsi, like, <laughs> that is really good deal. I can't even find one at that price myself. Yeah, so, so he's got two of them, yeah. 2022 and a 2021. Mm -hmm. I mean, it wasn't that price originally. Okay. But me buying two from him, he came down a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, yeah. I understand. No, that, that's fair, man. I appreciate it. No problem. Yeah, like I said, I, I would love your business, but I can't beat that number. That's a really good number. All right, cool. Hey, no worries. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. No problem. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Hello, Ni Hao. Hey, hi, hello, hello. We are the Time Fish Channel. Hello, hello. 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 Hello, hello
，我刚刚有一只全新的八月份二零二二年的黑水鬼。我跟你刚刚刚刚说是一万五千五，对不？一万五千五。对、okay. 对。然后你是住在三藩市的，对吗？对对对，我在三藩。我们的店在 Beverly Hill， 但是如果你不想过来拿的话，我们可以邮寄给你。我们是全美邮寄上保险的，所以如果你、okay. 如果你先付款的话，我们。就改天就可以寄到你家，然后你去 FedEx 旁边拿就可以了。我在想，我可能最近要来呃 LA 一趟，嗯，说不定我应该可以，我我我应该要最近这两周过来 LA 一趟。那、yeah. 我在想，我可不可以到时候来你店里这样子？可以可以，当然可以啊。呃，你过来的时候你告诉我一声就好了。就是我们是星期一到星期五。早上十点到下午四点， okay. 星期六也可以，但是你要提前跟我预约。通常星期六我们都是预约的。OK OK， 行的，这样。然后你可以过来我们店，你看看，呃呃，试一试，看看现货。黑水鬼、绿水鬼的话，我们每天都有的，那些普通的我们都有的。行的，我我到时候来跟你说一声，我去你店里看一下。啊，对对。就这两周我应该就要来。OK， 啊、呃，好的，我我想告诉你啊，我们现在还暂时不收。信用卡如果付款呢是现金或者银行转账，所以我先告诉你一声，啊、okay, okay. uh-huh. ，没问题。到时候你想过来的话，就跟我联系就可以了。好的，没问题。嗯，那就先这么说。OK， 嗯，拜拜。拜拜。This is one of the、uh, the client that、uh, he want to uh purchasing a brand new day sub, so he will be coming to the store and purchase in person. So. Yes, yes. Hey, at least the table's here, out there. Oh yeah. We gotta, we gotta. But he left me in the front door. But we have to break it yeah, down. Yeah, you didn't bring it in. No, it's it's too big to break it in. We have to break it down. Today's unboxing is not about watches. It's about packing table. <laughs> So、uh, we start to organize the、uh, operation office. We order one more packing table, so the team can have more room to move. What's that? Oh, it's a bluesy, but they have it all. Here, I'll let you unwrap it since you have. So this is uh. Bro, bro, like. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> He's like turning it, like ooh. <laughs>、uh, you know, like ooh. So this one two six six uh one eight LB, AKA forty one millimeter bluesy. It's twenty twenty two, but is it pre owned or new? This is brand new, I believe, fresh dated. I think we already have a client line up to it. Uh, cause last time when we sold the other one, we sold really fast,、mm-hmm. and then there's a Different client reach out that he want the same watch. So luckily we found the same watch and we shorts it. And now we just bring the news to the client. It's here. This is actually pretty good value to pick up right now. We sold this watch as forty two thousand dollar. Nice, nice, super、right. clean, really pretty. Blue really pops on that yellow gold. Really nice. I personally think、uh, this is a really good value to pick up right now. Yeah. Since like not that much over retail price. The Caesars. The Caesars. English is my second language. I'm sorry, guys. I'm still learning every day. Speaks better English than I do most days. So. <laughs> <laughs> not the good one, but the bad one, of course. Ooh, Ooh it's a, it's a, it's triple. Who are the Caesars for that? Caesars. Caesars. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't stand with those. My peer right here. My friend. My peer. My peer. <laughs> Love you. You make fun of me all day, Z. All day, every that, day. That, that's our joint. That's our joint. Yeah, that's our joint. You don't let me get mine in sometimes. All right, another bluesy.、Oh. We got a two-tone. Two-tone bluesy. Every time I see that watch, Darby comes to my mind. I know, right? Just in case you're in the market with bluesy, there's one pre-owned 
on sale as well. And Darby would like to sell his watch as well. Yes. He wanted to upgrade. Would, he wanted to upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> How was that a better advertising than mine? Mm. Uh, that that was with more excitement. Darby's a bigger celeb than you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. The watch is more expensive than a brand new mm -hmm. one because it's is been this, worn by Darby. <laughs> is this watch brand new? <laughs> it's June 22. So this is the uh, 40, 40, the new reference Explorer Black Dial. It's brand new, so June right? June 22, yeah. Yep, this is also brand new. I think we will list this watch as $13,000. Brand new full set, complete. White tag, everything. Yep. Starbies. August twenty-two. Yeah, but this one's different. This one's fully sticker. This is my birthday. Is it? Oh. Yeah. Darby, I can create invoice for you right now. <laughs> and it's fully sticker. So if anybody in the market for Brand new fully sticker, stop it. This is the With one. Right my here. birth date. Trying to work on sale today and make this so. Make the uh, invoice for Darby. Make it happen. <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, Fabian. Are you in the office right now? I'm here. Any watch for me? Uh, I have two skeletons done. Oh. I have a, a Datas Oyster uh -huh. ready. Uh -huh. And I'm, I'm finishing the other two uh, today. Okay, I need the uh, two scaly right now. I'm going to send Darby and Brian come pick up the watch. Yeah, send them. I'll okay. give them three pieces. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. I appreciate okay. it. Okay. And then later on tonight, I'm gonna bring home the uh, the Daytona. I'm bringing home the yellow gold date date. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna bring home one mm -hmm. more date just that uh, that I have of yours. Cool. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye. 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 Darby, did you do me a big favor? All right. Can you please go pick up watches? Yes. Cool, thank you. There's two skellies and a Tejas. Okay. It's a blue dough Tejas. Awesome. I think this is cool. what they need right here. Yeah, the two skellies. Yeah. Cool, man. Cool. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, see you guys. I'll take some. See you, man. And the guy that you guys picked up. Cool. Cool. There you go. Just uh, pick this up back from uh, surface, and we actually sold this watch yesterday. Uh, today, we have to go deliver this watch to the client. You should be really happy about the watch. What I'm doing right now, I'm trying to send some picture for the client before we head into his way. How you doing? I'm good. A little bit of, <clears throat> little bit of pain, but I'm up working a little bit. Real quick, I sent you from the other phone, from the from the office phone, three pictures. It's a, uh, it's a black diamond baguette day date, a yellow gold yacht two, and a rose gold black dial Daytona. I sent the specs underneath them. I have a client that's local here that's interested in either selling them or consignment. So I told him I'd give him prices on both. So respond to that. Just give me the prices that each of them will sell for. And I can okay. give him a buy price, but I want to give him two options as to whether buying or consignment's better on those. Okay. I need to wire the IT guy 500 for the back end website work and the migration. Okay. Yeah. 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 We're good on that. Did we, uh, oh yeah. I wired you. Okay. He's paid. I need to send an international wire to pay for the merch. Another oh, deposit. Okay. And I can't I can't do it from my computer. 
Yeah, that's correct. Uh, send me the info. Okay. I can. You, may have to go, you have to go to the thing. Otherwise, I can't do it till tomorrow. Till I can leave here. I can do it okay. later. All right. Let me get that and I'll send it to you. Uh, but main thing right now, send me that. Send me the info on these watches so I can I can reach back out to this guy. I'm going through leads mm -hmm. and <clears throat> I'm going through all my messages and Instagram messages right now. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. Hi. Right, bye bye. Hey. How you doing? How do I? Um, how do you guys take payment? Uh, so we usually take payment through wire, but since yeah. uh, you only pay uh, two thousand dollar different, if you have a Zelle, you can just Zelle a two thousand dollar. Zelle, never heard of this. Zell, oh, oh, I forgot you from Canada. Zelle like yeah. Zelle's like a like a Venmo. Oh. Okay. Yeah, uh, but you can send other, wire. Any other? I mean, I can wire. It's not the end of the world, but. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's no, not really a big deal. I forget if I have to pay for wire or not. But um, you actually so do. <laughs> Zell or wire? Yeah, yeah. You said this 2022 card, right? Yeah, it's 2022 card. But you, uh, you see the videos, right? You see. 20 sorry, 2022 or 2020? 2020 January. 2020. So two years old. Yeah, two years old, but. This watch, I, the client told me that he barely worn it. It's really clean. I was surprised. I look at all, when he told me that with 2020 watches, I was like, okay, all right, must be like, you know, you know how two years uh, old watch and most of the time, especially two-tone ye yellow gold, it's so easy to like uh, see the scratch and everything. But yeah. when he when he bring the watch to me yesterday, I look at it, it's like, oh my God, this is so clean. Like, I'm not saying it's unworn, but he said he won like a couple times that sit and put it on the safe and never, never won it because uh, you know how Sky Villa, they kind of thick and not a lot of people just uh, like yeah. to wear it because it's, they sit pretty uh, big on the wrist if you don't have like a bigger wrist size, but it's okay. really clean. I have the, well, you can see the, 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 the Batman I sent was sized to my wrist. Yeah. So I have a 6.25, uh, 6.25 inch wrist. Like I'm not, it's not big, but I've had this guy. I have friends who have this guy. Uh -huh. I've had it on, I've had it on mm -hmm. my wrist a few times. And yeah. I, I actually prefer the sky over the GMT. It feels small for me. I, yeah. I, like I just, it's just the way what I'm used to and all that stuff. So uh -huh. for me, I like, I actually prefer it. I found, I found the GMT just a tiny bit small. So you, I mean, it looks, I mean, it looks great. It is. It is. It is really great shape. I. I'm not. I'm not trying to like command you to buy it, but I'm just telling you yeah, that, that it this. Really it is really good. Like, it's close to new, but I'm not saying it's new because pe a client has been one couple times. It's the same thing as your watch. Like I said, your yeah, watch is close I to know, new too. But I'm not gonna tell clients the watch is new because you won a couple times. And, and where? Where did this thing? Where's this thing from? Like, is it a? His logo. It's local? Yeah, he just dropped it off yesterday. He literally dropped it off and then I have Trevor post on the Instagram. I mean, I know it's a stupid question, but 100% yeah. authentic. There's no right? stupid question. 100% <laughs> authentic, I don't have to worry. Yeah, yeah it's, like, it's, it is. It is. Authenticity, yeah. like yeah. I, there's, there's no, like I, I mean, I'm not in this. I'm not in this game, right? So no, no. <laughs> no don't worry. It's it, it's a uh, uh, it's a real watch. And the the client who dropped it up, he has done a couple business with us, so it's not like a first time client as well. So okay, I, I trust I trust both sides of party, you know. Yeah. And and yeah. we we do look at the watch, and of course, not just by myself, but other people as well. So we, a couple people is already looking this watch, and we all surprising. I mean, we all surprised that this watch with this good condition for 2020. And it's a good deal too. So the, the price yeah, you're no, paying no, right no. now is the same price you uh, buy for Mady. The only difference is you will get a brand new car and this one is uh, two years old, that's it. But the watch is exactly the same. They make no difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah they didn't change movement, didn't no. change no, uh, weight or size or nothing, nope. right? No, nope. no. But the only, yeah. only time they come in, I think this year they come in with a Jubilee brand. So that's the only new thing for the Sky, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, I appreciate the you know, uh, the, I'm a bit of a pain because I'm particular, right? Like, no, no, not, not nothing wrong with that. You know, as a client, that's what we do. Yeah. Like I said, uh, yeah. I totally understand like your concern, and that's that's what everybody does the same thing too. So that's our job to like show you everything. But I'm telling you, this is a really clean watch. Like you have zero concern about this. Okay, no worries. Yeah, <laughs> okay. and then I'll, I'll I'll do the wire tomorrow. Cool, perfect, no rush. Appreciate it, Mark. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, thank you. All right, bye bye. Have a good day. Okay.
Tell me you have good, good news for me. Hey, how are you? I'm good, sir. How are you doing? Good, good. Uh, I have good news, but not the good oh. news as well. I do locate a couple more uh, blue sky, but okay. they were not at that price point. So I locate three of them. They are brand new. Okay. Uh, they did uh, within these two months. I have to be like 26.5. Yes. So you think he's not he's not selling it or he just not got he hasn't got back to you? So what I'm thinking is like the either that he does not have a watch or he just Oh or I, I don't know, like he, he's not respond he, he he's he's not respond uh thing to me. Or he's holding out for a higher price. Um uh who knows? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not I'm not trying to like guessing, but my job is trying yeah, to I, 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 my job is trying to find you a, a best deal. But so far yeah. right now, I put out the calls out and then uh, the lowest I can okay, do is to... About, mm -hmm. Okay, what about pre-owned? Yes, I can go for pre-owned route. But like I said, yeah. I, I try to shoot for the brand new one first because 100%. I always suggest kind of buy the brand new watch. It's not that much price different. I just always try to shoot for the brand new first, see what kind of a quote that I get. If too far, then I will go for pre-owned like new route and see uh, what's the uh, better price than that. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Try to, try to find yeah. me a pre-owned one. Yeah. Obviously, mm -hmm. you know, condition, condition and year are going to be important. But yeah, try to find me a pre-owned one. I mean, uh, I already know your budget, so so I, I know it's yeah. done deal on your end. I just want to find a better deal on my side yeah. to fit fit your need. If I can find a better deal on uh, on the brand new watch, just like the one I mentioned yesterday, but who knows what's, what's happening with the watch. But uh, let me ask sure. you this. Do you yeah. mind the year on the car, like you know how uh, right you on know, last two years uh, is a new car. Uh, yeah, honestly, if it's like the, you, you mean like the, the the white green card, we're talking about the brand new green card. I don't give a shit. I mean, oh, okay, I, you know, got you. Then then I'm not, then I'm not then we'll be stuck on that. Okay. I mean, if it's like the older card, older mm. style card, I'm not stuck on on you know on on that. Because honestly, mm. look at all my watches. When's the last time I've ever taken a uh, freaking uh, look at the paperwork. Anyway, yeah, you know? I get, it, I get. It. Like you know, I have to ask these two clients because uh, each client is different. Sure. Like some clients just buy the watch to wear, and I would suggest them like the car doesn't matter because you not carry the car to show people like, 100%. hey, this is <laughs> this is this is a new car, right? Uh, but 100%. But, but some that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be wearing the watch. So <laughs> yeah. Okay. For me, I don't care. We'll we'll get it done today. We'll we'll try to locate you a, a watch today. So. You got it, my friend. Okay. Thanks so much. Oh man, talk soon. Okay. Oh, okay. See you. Got right, it. Bye bye. Okay. Hey Z, sorry, I was by my phone. Um, so uh, it's okay, Jose. How you doing? So I see your text message that uh, you want to stop by the store. Yeah, definitely. I just want to come see what you guys got uh, okay. on the market for uh, a day just. A day just. Yeah, nothing urgent. Uh-huh. What kind of day just you looking for? Something with a jubilee, not two tone, just all steel. Uh-huh. Yeah. But I, I'm not I'm not like super uh, in a rush for it. I'm just looking for uh the right one at the right price right now. And then also mm -hmm. have you come across the new Tudor Pelagos 39 millimeter? Uh no, I'm not familiar with uh Tudors. I am interested in in a date just and uh -huh. uh, the Tudor Pelagos, the new one. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm just curious if, if come across one or not we, we actually don't have any tutor in stock but as a day just wise we have a lot of uh, different uh, uh, spec uh, day just in our store in inventory okay uh, s especially the one that uh, you want like a small steel and jubilee and fluid bezel I think we have the Very nice. we have the Wimbledon dial we have the white dial we have the rhodium dial you should come and check Very us nice. out yeah definitely definitely when you guys open or is it like appointment based or what's the situation so we open at Monday to Friday, uh, but if you want to stop by on Saturday, it's fine. You just have to let me know ahead. Like tomorrow, you let me know ahead. What time around Saturday you want to stop by? All right, so I, I can come on Monday. It's okay. 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 I'm, I'm free Monday. Okay, yeah. And then last question. I have a GMT Master mm -hmm. black dial. It's a couple of years old, and I was wondering if I could get it touched up. You want to just touch it up on no surface, right? What do you think I should do on it? Uh, maybe, maybe. How about you look at it when when I come in, and then you yeah. let me know. Yeah, you should uh, bring the watch uh, when you stop by our office, uh, and then we can take a look at it. Usually, touch up uh, will will charge like 
two hundred fifty dollars. Like we're okay. talking talk about the entire wash cleanup and look like brand new. But if you yeah. wash this surface, you know how sometimes the wash are running uh, slower, you know, lost a couple of seconds a day, and yeah. maybe something's yeah. not working. That will be like an additional cost on surface. It's based on what kind of the surface that you. What needs right. work? Yeah. Okay. But if your wash was working totally fine and then nothing wrong with it and just need a little bit of touch up, that'll be a two hundred fifty dollar. I think we'll go ahead with the with the touch up. I'll uh -huh. bring it in when I come in. How long does it usually take? Two days. Two days. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, two that's two fun. to three days for the it's a regular Rolex. It usually take two to three days, because it usually take us one day to give it to him and then take a like and get it back. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not in a rush. You guys, I was just expecting because one time I asked the Rolex that and they were like, oh, a couple of months and stuff. Yeah. Where I come from, it was like, yeah, yeah it is. No, I'm not. It I'm is. not doing that. I'm not gonna give you my watch for two three months. No, it thank is. you. <laughs> it is. It is. When you send the Rolex and. Right now, they were saying like five weeks, but I see people two months, three months, who know whenever, whenever they done, they give it to you. That's, that's what, what they are. So. Yeah, no, no, okay, I'll definitely come in Monday and uh -huh. I'll bring my watch as well to get it polished up. Uh -huh. And I'll look at uh, your selection. Appreciate it, Vic, thank no you. Problem. No problem, nice, nice to talk to right. you, see ya. All right, nice talking to you, mm -hmm. bye-bye. Hello. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. What? Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. you. Thank 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 you. you. Thank 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 you. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm fine. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at this. Look, look at this. Oh, go. So nice. 7201 titanium. I'm gonna give to uh, C for this one. Any dream? Oh, not for free. You, you mean sell it? Hmm? Someone. Yeah, that's it. So let this me. This is one of my restaurants. Nice. Three restaurants. Damn. And uh, so. What he's saying is restaurant is his side job, so I'll let you open it. You only show my one, let's take a Kong. Often in the make of Fung Chung, who may have seen that. I didn't know what you see how Beautiful, of course. Yeah, we all clean up, look like brand new, uh, you know. Like a, a full link or what? Full link. That's the one extra link right here. Mm -hmm. I bring two, I can uh, help you size it as well. Oh, that's good. Yeah, white tag, green tag, everything. Okay. A warranty card, this is all here. I mean, if you're up to you, like I can size it for you and then... Uh, you don't have two, you have two? I have two, I have oh. everything. Come on, we're ready, we stay ready. You have full customer service, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let me take one off. You should be fine. Size for me, yeah, 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 yeah. I love collect watches and also a lot of my friends, you know, no. love collect watches also. So I told you that could be one of your best customers in the near future. Yeah, that's, it's just beginning. For, you know. for sure. When you're ready, we always I'm ready. ready. I'm looking for something crazy. So <laughs> skeleton? AP okay. skeleton? Okay, I almost brought uh, uh, AP skeleton with a uh, uh, diamond label. Mm -hmm. And that time, the cost is probably uh, 800. 800, I almost bought it. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I don't know why to hold on for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not much drop, so I just hold on for it. Mm -hmm. That's why. But you buy watch to wear, right? You not buy yeah, watch no, to collect. No, no, yeah, yeah. Because no, 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 no. I never sell watch. You know, yesterday when you see the Saru in our store, the Ooh. GMT Saru, the oh, one yeah. with the gem, mm -hmm. the blue and mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah, that one's nice and that one's that good value to buy too. Beautiful. But yeah. like like you said, it's yeah. it's one of the flashy yeah. watch and yeah. and uh, yeah. Yeah. But for that kind yeah. of watch, yeah, yeah. 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 like plain Jane right collection. here. Nice to be collect collect collection, hmm. but I can't. Scale of where that kind of watch out yeah. there. 
Because I know you get I know the the security safety out there. Yeah, just be careful. Yeah, no. I'm sure you have a yeah. really crazy collection. You don't see this very often in the market. Try this out. Let me see if uh. Yeah, because uh, this is extended. You can just close the the extended link too. You took out one. You took out one. You took out one. You took out two, because there's one right here. One one six five zero zero LN. The ceramic version. This is the m most desirable steel model Rolex lineup out there. Uh, popular. So popular, and everybody call this watch as Panda. Uh, it's like a perfect watch for just up and just down. Yeah. Right now it's really good value to buy this watch. And I remember six months ago when this watch had peaked, you need to buy a brand new one over $50,000. Right now it's around like mid 30, a close to easy link, and then you should try it out. Yeah, it's good. I mean, that's very good. Feels so good to be back out of the house. Still like loopy though, so I just got my uh, tubes, like the drainage tubes, removed a minute ago. So now my doctor said I can get out and move around, but I'm still like on meds because of the pain. So I have this like sports bra thing I have to wear for the next five weeks to keep the <laughs> chest compressed. So I've, I don't know, it feels like I'm wearing a little bulletproof vest under my shirt. Hey Liz. Has yeah. uh, did anybody come in to pick up that Mont Blanc, mm -hmm. the gold one? Oh, he's gonna come today. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. He just doesn't want to lose. He doesn't want to lose as much as he's going to. Okay. So he's so just gonna wear it. It is uh, skew number uh, fifteen. Third one, very top. My, oh. My <laughs> 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 Got a big head, and real arms. <laughs> <Big head. laughs> Okay, that's heavy. You don't need to pick that up. I got it. I got it. Okay, let's that. The inventory's grown since I've been here. That's cool. That new Date 841 is new. Two-tone Daytona. Two-tone Daytona is new. From now on, every time we take a watch to uh, Fabian, I want one of these on it, and I want what we need done to it. I want the SKU number written on it, and then like we can go ahead and put a note like polish or service, and then when he brings them back, he's gonna write the price on it, and then we're gonna take those tags and give them to Ellie, so she can so, so she can log them. Oh, okay. Have y'all eaten? No. no. You haven't eaten at all. You are recovering from surgery. I ate a painkiller. <laughs> then you double need to eat. Would you like some almonds? I have them. Why did you say it like that? Almonds? <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> you get a camera near me and I automatically get weird. The thing. I can barely tell. The, the, yeah, it's good. Like, Farinox ate tacos three nights in a row. Tacos. And ice cream. I heard you had ice cream. I did go get ice cream last night. I couldn't sleep. And I was like going, I was going stir crazy. Like I had, haven't been out of my apartment since Tuesday. Yeah. And so I just got up and went for a drive and drove like through the hills. See, that's like a vacation for me. That's, like that's my therapy. Great for me. No, I'm talking about being like in the house for days on. Really? Yeah. I go I stir that. crazy. <clears throat> hey. Hey, what's up, buddy? What's up, man? Okay, so I got, I've got your info sent over to Andrea. She's working on your consignment agreement now, so you'll get that uh, via DocuSign in your email here any minute. Okay. Um, okay. Now, let's talk about your day date. So, okay. I know we were shooting at, we were looking at high 40s based on the fact that this thing is brand new and fully stickered still. Looking at the amount of these that are available online and in the chats, we were adding a little bit of value of it because it is a 2014 and it's still fully stickered. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I, I'm getting the feeling, and I've talked to a couple dealers, I don't think that's gonna play as much of a, not as high of a value as we thought. What it's gonna ultimately end up selling for is somewhere in the low 40s. And the reason being, like it's the same, it's kind of the same problem you see a lot with white gold is it's so similar to stainless steel. 
that yeah, 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 yeah. like I have I have the exact same date just model black diamond dial everything and you know nine out of ten yeah, people looking at like, them uh, like if you know you know, you know exactly exactly it takes someone special to go spend you know 40 grand on a watch that you can get for this Correct. like the same look for yeah. 13 here's where I'm at and I'll tell you what my recommendation is you tell me what you want to do if I were to buy this and take it on trade Z and Trevor and I agreed that the number it it's gonna be lower than you're I then I recommend you taking it's gonna be like yeah. mid 30s what I would recommend don't don't sell it to me and lose out on that much let me push it yeah, try yeah, to sell yeah. it then roll that into something else because because right now if you and the reason I have to be so low on I've got to be at like 35 mainly because yeah. it's gonna it's just gonna take a minute to sell for me to trade out of something that's gonna sell faster I've got to be a little bit more healthy in this which means yeah, yeah. you're gonna leave too much money on the table so again you tell me what you want to do but what I recommend is give it two weeks let me see if I can sell it and then uh -huh. take that money and roll it into the next piece the thing about it is when someone goes looking for this piece it'll sell for yeah. all the money it's just a it's an extremely yeah, slow seller exactly if we sold it at 44 and I took a six percent fee that's gonna net you 41,360 which is less than what yeah. you're in it for you already yeah. bought two watches from us I don't want you to lose money so why don't we do this I'll do my uh -huh. best if you're 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 just talking about possibly trading it in towards another piece, if I just sell it outright, I've got to do my six percent. But if you're willing to roll the money into another watch, give me time, let me sell this. Even if I get just forty two five out of it, if I can move it for you for forty two five and then you roll that forty two five into another piece, I'm happy there because at least I make yeah, money. Yeah. I make that money on one side. Time, to be honest, I'm, I'm probably gonna end up getting something with you, Anthony. I mean, like you work with me and I love the prices that you have, you know. So. That really is my plan. I'm, I want to probably go get something like maybe yellow gold, you know? Okay. Well, I'll make a note then. I'll, I'll make it the net to where we try to get 42.5, where you net 42.5, and that gives you a, a trade credit with us. And okay. then whatever you spend with us, that's cool. Okay. okay. Yeah, that works. Cool. Let's do that. Okay. All right. Thank you, Anthony. All right, buddy. Okay. Take care. Have a good weekend. You too, brother. Bye. Something's wrong with Z. <laughs> 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 so Z, you good? This is what y'all do when I'm gone for four days? Is have a meme war? I'm gonna change our group chat name to the dumbass trio. <laughs> what are we saying? Let's talk on the camera. This is a white gold date eight presidential. It's 41 millimeters with a factory black diamond dial. And as you can see on the clasp, it remains I might, untouched, I need to see that again. unworn for eight oh. years. You were talking to the camera. Yeah. I thought you were I thought you were talking what? to this. Idiot. I'm like <laughs> literally holding it in front of my camera. <laughs> That's why I was confused. I'm like, why are you hiding the watch? And I'm on pain meds. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, it's per my first day back in the office, and we've been talking about doing something a little bit different. Every time we talk about inventory that we have, when we're just going about our normal business and we're talking about a piece we have, and we mention the price and we talk about specs, for some reason, it ends up getting sold. So we thought what better platform to showcase our inventory, which we do it on our website, we do it on Instagram, uh, on all of our Instagram accounts, but for some reason we get the best exposure when we showcase stuff on YouTube. And we know there's a lot of people that watch the channel that don't follow our website or don't follow the social media. So Z and I thought it would be a cool idea to just kind of go over some of the stuff that we have. One, to showcase what we have in stock, the specs, the prices, and the availability of it but also to kind of talk about the history. Like right now, we're in this weird market where people kind of, we don't know what's gonna happen, stuff's gonna go up or down, but what we do all know is that everything has been heavily discounted. Now, one thing I've seen over the last couple years is, or several years in this business is, prices start to go up and people get hesitant. They wanna wait for prices to come back down. But what ends up happening is prices keep going up and up and up and up and up. And then maybe people pull a trigger, maybe they keep waiting and then prices drop. Let's take for example, 
this olive dial press. I can't tell you how many of these watches I sold last year, anywhere from 70 to $80,000 and prices kept climbing. I had guys at 70,000 that wanted to buy one and kept thinking prices were gonna go down. Prices kept going up and up and up and up and up. And then they ended up buying it at 80, 85. Well, now prices dropped back down. They sold it, whatever. I also had people that were waiting saying prices were too high and that they wanted them to come back down. Prices are down from 85 to 90,000 where the average price point on these pre-owned is going around 58, 59, brand new. You can pick them up for 62 to 63. Will prices go lower? I don't know. Will they eventually go higher? Yes. Can I say when that's gonna happen? No, but what I can say is that these are $30,000 off of what they were. What I know is gonna happen is too many people are gonna sit and wait and not jump. And then the closer we get to the holiday season, prices are gonna go back up. And where they're at today at 62,000, they're gonna be at 70 in a month, you know, hypothetically, and people are gonna to wanna to buy them at today's price. So I thought it'd be a cool idea to showcase what we have now, talk about where prices were back in February and March of this year, and how much of a discount you're looking at getting if you purchase something today. Z, pick a couple pieces that you like. So the first piece I wanna show is uh, yellow gold day date, 40 millimeter. 228238 two, eight, uh, black. black diamond dial. Yeah. The retail price MSRB with well, this one is around $40,000. It's like 40, 41 or 42 yeah, right? diamonds. And then yeah. you, when, uh, so with tax and everything, walk out the door, maybe a little bit less than 45. This piece is six months ago, when you know, peak on February and March, it's almost go up to like 65 and higher. This piece is pre owned, mint complete uh, with open cart, but it's old cart. Right now we're asking for. $45,000. Full open card, which just in case anybody doesn't know out there, it means it's the old style card. So it still had the, the name and the date of where you're supposed to have the name of the purchaser and the date it was purchased. This one has neither of those filled in. Now this watch is tied to a name. It is tied to a specific date, but where the open card plays into collectability is let's say you have a kid that you wanna buy and you wanna gift this watch to. Even though the watch is already registered to a person and a date, you can still take that card and what collectors will do is they'll put their own name on it or they'll put their son or their daughter's name and then they'll fill it in as their birthday and it just makes it a commemorable piece to pass down. So open cards do add a little bit of value to a watch, especially one that's several years old. Yeah. Especially the price is really close to retail price. So right. I don't see anything will go below retail, especially on this uh, diamond Dial day date. While you're talking yellow gold day dates, this is a factory day date 41. It's a day date two. It's a 41 millimeter with a factory diamond bezel and a factory black wave dial. Diamond bezels typically add about you know seven to ten thousand dollars in value to a watch on the retail price. And then you've got the wave dial, which is it's extremely rare. You don't see them. There's there's a chocolate wave, there's a black wave, and then there's a blue wave, which you'll see on white gold pieces. It's all factory, it's box papers complete. We've got it priced at fifty-eight thousand. Whereas we just showed you this is just a regular baguette diamond bezel for forty-eight for thirteen thousand more, you get the added value of a factory diamond bezel it's discontinued and you have that special dial. That's just another unique piece for guys that like the presidential, but feel that the 40 millimeters are a little bit too small. And this is exactly the same watch, 228228, but the champagne Roman dial. This is pre-owned 2021. 2021, yeah. February 2021. Yeah, pre-owned means complete as well. I think we're asking for $41,000. I think right now the market uh, is a good time to pick up day date because the, on the secondary market, we either slightly over retail back in february march gold pieces you know they were trading 15 20 25 percent over retail just for basic presidentials now's the first time in a year and a half you've been able to go buy these things right above retail price after tax this is another good example this is the chocolate day date reference 228235 and it's a chocolate baguette dial what are we asking on this one 51 thousand 51 51,000. Oh, I think I would let it go for 50. 50,000. Very interesting. Yeah. 50,000. And in this, in its peak, I remember this watch. I think I sold one of these brand new for almost 70 grand. Almost a you know $20,000 discount on this watch right now. Yeah, actually, some good values. We just sold our white Panda Daytona. 
uh, yesterday and it got shipped out. We have a black ceramic Daytona as well. And this one is fully stickered, barcode sticker and everything. Because of fully sticker, and this watch we're asking for 33,000. Without sticker, uh, you sh right now the market's around 31 and 32 brand new, but no sticker. The reason we're asking for this one 33,000 because it's fully sticker, including with barcode. The, with the barcode. So it's for those collectors that who want to buy these pieces and sit in, sit in the safe and try to uh, wait for the market go up. Six months ago, these pieces, 45, yeah. I would say 45. Two other pieces I wanna show you guys that I think are great values are the aluminum bezel, I'm sorry, the steel bezel Daytonas. These are a reference 116520, both white and black dial. Both of these watches are from 2014. Uh, they're the old style cards. They do come box and papers complete. On the white one, uh, March, you would have paid 30, 31, 32,000 for a steel bezel complete. Right now we're asking 23, no, we're asking 24 online, but I think I posted it the other day for 235 on the on my instagram so 23.5 for the white dial 22.5 for the black dial again full sets complete for a steel daytona that's i mean you know they're discontinued that's a that's a price that even if the market dips a little bit long term these are going to be a solid play because they're already uh 23.5 on the white 22.5 on the black so this is the uh, yellow gold uh Full yellow gold sky roller with oyster flex. Retail price was forty thousand dollars. Some change with sell tax. You have to like forty three thousand dollars walk out the door around that. This piece is two thousand twenty one pre owned, mm -hmm. complete. Yep. We are asking for thirty eight thousand dollars. Thirty eight. Yep. So retail was forty. Yes. Mint condition. You can buy it under retail right now. Yeah. And those will go back up eventually. Another good one right now. Great bang for the buck is the hulk you guys saw hulks touch well over thirty thousand for brand new pieces pre-owned pieces were high 20s for you know six eight months this one is naked this is the only possible way i don't know of any another one online anywhere under twenty thousand dollars this one is naked it is full length it's excellent condition the crystal's perfect the case everything it's not over polished uh we're asking 18.5 18.5 you cannot find a Hulk anywhere out there for $20,000 or less. Right now, even full sets with the card, you're still looking at 23, 22, 23, 22 for like an old one, like an 09, 010. We do actually have a, a Hulk with the card, asking for 23, $5,000 $5, difference just to have a card. So guys, if a Hulk, if you've been looking at sport model watches and you've been looking at a $20,000 range, this is my. This is honestly the best value for the buck, or best bang for the buck out there right now, under twenty thousand. Right now, if you are looking for buying your first Rolex, Datejust is always like a good start. Right now, the market price, a lot of the Datejust, literally slightly over retail a little bit. Right. So, the best values right now are the smooth bezels. I mean, I'll tell you the absolute best value for the look, <clears throat> in my opinion, around ten thousand or less is the smooth bezel on a jubilee you still have the jubilee bracelet so it gives you that rolex look but you're saving some money by doing a smooth steel bezel versus the white gold fluted bezel which i'll show you in a minute now jubilee is obviously a little bit more popular than the oyster so you could even save a little bit more money if you go with an oyster uh, bracelet i want to say these smooth bezels on oyster fetch anywhere between eight and nine thousand pre-owned Brand new, I believe. I think this one's brand new, and I think we're asking 10.5 on it because it is a recent date uh, in the last month. Uh, this one, I have multiples of these. I have a March 2022 that I'm asking 10,500, and I have a. Both of our smooth bezels are brand new, and they're both from 2022. And I think they're. I believe they're both priced at 10,500, but within the same watch, we have two of the fluted bezels, same rhodium stick dial. Uh, one is brand new, we're asking 13,500 for, and one's pre-owned, we're asking 12,500. Both also, I believe, from 2022. So some of you guys, if you want like a little bit uh, diamond on the dial, we have the black dial and the blue dial. They just, is one, two, six, two, three, four with the oyster band. We also have a mother of pearl diamond. Yeah, mother of pearl diamond. And we also have the one with the- uh, Show that up close. We also have the same watch with the Jubilee brand as well. With the mother of pearl diamond dial, we have both options. We have we have oyster bracelet and a jubilee bracelet. How much are we asking on the jubilee? Because that's going to be the more popular one. The jubilee, because the this oyster is brand new, yeah. that's why you're asking for fifteen five. 
but the Jubilee one is pre-owned 2021. We're asking for 15. Even. 15, okay. Yeah. And then these two watches, blue diamond and black diamond right there. Uh, the black one's brand new, asking for 14. Retail price with tax, walked out the door, 13 some chain. So you literally pay less than $1,000 over retail. Blue dial is always the most desired dial. The mm -hmm. color dial Which one for the Rolex. Blue diamond. We also right. have, is that the fluted bezel? We also have the blue Roman in a smooth bezel. This one's brand new, right? Mm -hmm. What's the price on this? This one is 10.5 as well. 10.5, it's a smooth bezel. If you were to get this with the fluted bezel, you'd be looking at 14,000. One other thing I wanna point out with Datejust is we get a lot of people right now calling us. Um, ADs are offering a lot of Datejust out there right now. You can walk in a lot. and a lot. if you've got any kind of status with your AD and you've bought multiple pieces, you actually have a good shot at getting one of these smooth bezels or fluted bezels, like the really basic dials, the white, the black, the rhodium, at retail and, and you may even if you're a new customer you have a good shot at walking in there and getting one within two to three months so if you're not in a hurry it's not actually the best idea to buy straight from us walk in your ad and ask and get one of those now the ones that are going to be harder to get which are the ones that are still carrying a decent premium over and the reason i point this out is every day we, we keep getting people call us and say hey my ad offered me this date just will you buy it we will, but the most we're going to pay is retail because again, a lot of these watches, I don't know the exact retail price right off the top of my head, but I know that these only sell for about a thousand to fifteen hundred over retail. So you as a consumer, if you're going in there and you're buying that and then you're paying sales tax on top, you're going to lose money. So I'm having to tell a lot of people that we won't take them because you're just simply going to lose money if you're paying sales tax because I have to make a profit. The ones that are very safe, aside from the blue Roman dials, are the Wimbledon dials. Now we have multiple versions of the Wimbledon. We've got the most popular, which is the stainless steel, white gold fluted bezel on a Jubilee bracelet. So this one's stands for 14.5. 14.5, okay. So there's, there's good profit even after I buy this off of you or take it on consignment. Same thing with this and same watch, just on the Oyster bracelet. It's 14. $500 difference? Yeah, $500 okay. different, yeah. Then we have two two-tone versions of it. Two-tone version to really this one is... That's the yellow gold version? Yeah. This one's pre-owned, so it's asking for 15500 15, five, okay. Yeah. And we have the two-tone rose, smooth bezel, Wimbledon dial. This one, I believe we're asking for 12.5 on the website. So 12.5 for the two-tone rose smooth bezel, but then if that were a fluted bezel, it'd definitely be 14.5 on the oyster bracelet. 16, 16 on the Jubilee. 16.5? 16, 16, 16.5. 16, so the most popular, the absolute most popular date just you can get out there is going to be this version, but in rose gold. Yeah. That is, that is the most sought after one. So if you get offered that, or if you get offered any Wimbledon date just, just get it. You'll be fine. I do want to go to this room real quick, just because I'm getting offered so many and root beers. So Starbucks. Starbucks and root beers, guys, they are no longer bringing 21, t Starbucks, they're not bringing 21, 22, 23. I think this one is brand new. Brand new, we have like four brand new. Right. They are asking? asking for 19,000. Yeah, and they haven't sold. The true market on these things now, guys, in my personal opinion, is 17 to 18 brand new, 16 to 17 pre-owned, maybe 19 brand new, but we're still getting offered a lot of these and people want to net 20, 21, 22. It's just, there, there's too many of them out there. And like you said, we already have four of them. With the two-tone root beers, I think we have one, but it's in polish. The new root beer right now, they're around $23,000. 2021 $20, for pre-owned is what they'll sell for. Now, if we're buying, discount at $2,000. Let's talk about some offshores. This, I can't believe this hasn't sold yet. Stainless steel, uh, offshores, even the closed case backs, we're bringing anywhere from, depending on which dial it was and what the accessories and stuff were, we're bringing anywhere from 27 to 32 uh, back in February. This is the Safari dial. It's on a white AP strap. It's actually box papers complete 2006 Six. or nine. It is November 2006, pre-owned complete. We actually have four straps total with this. So you get four straps, four different straps and a badass offshore and we're asking 23,000 on this. I, I'm not sure why it hasn't sold because that's a lot of watch for the money and it's never, these haven't been that cheap in over two years. So if you're into offshores, that's a good one. This one we actually sold the same day because it's a little bit more of a unique dial, 
but this is the open case back Havana dial. So it's a brown dial with blue sub dials. Uh, we took this in on trade and I listed it for 28,000 and I sold it the, day, the next day for 27,000. And, and it doesn't even come with a factory strap. I'm having to source the, uh, the extra strap. That's a dial, it's like, it's hard to capture on video, but it is, it's a gorgeous dial yeah. in person. Because the sub dial is a blue color. Yeah, it's just got a little bit of a <clears> different <throat> color. And maybe, maybe we need to throw this uh, Safari on a different, like on a black strap, because it pops, I love it on the white strap, but it pops very well. But 23,000, full set, four straps, excellent condition. Talk about those newer ones, because they're like right, right we're, we're selling retail. them less than retail plus tax. Or is it right above retail? Yeah, I think retail is 40 grand. Mm. So this is the new, uh, or new last year. It's the 43 millimeter versions that they came out with. This is a black ceramic bezel. It's like, I guess it's uh, like a reverse panda dial. So black dial, silver chronos. It's an open case back, black ceramic bezel, ceramic pushers, and it's a 43 millimeter. It has the uh, easy, easy I, don't, I don't know what they call it, but it's like the easy adjust where you just pop the strap on so you could easily change straps on the fly just like that. The retail price is 40,000. Out the door with tax, you're gonna be 42, 43, depending on where you're at. And I think we're asking 43 on this, right? Oh, yes. 43,000, brand mm -hmm. new. You cannot walk into AP and buy this watch even with a good history, not easily. AP is the hardest company to go play this game with. Mm -hmm. And we have this right now, right at retail plus tax. The other one, we've got this is a titanium. Titanium, yeah. We get a lot of call. People asking for 5,500 and uh, 2631, which is the uh, regular uh, Royal Oak plain Jane or the Chrono one right now. This one is lady uh, pieces, 33 millimeter, but I'm talking about the 41 millimeter. Mm -hmm. We sold the black one, we sold the blue one. They like fast moving right, right. now. If you uh, want to get into AP and get those uh, 26331 or 15500, it doesn't matter what color dial is. I think it's really good uh, time to uh, get into uh, AP if you really want to Let's talk about the discounts on APs. Like even just this offshore, I remember selling this exact offshore for fifty-five thousand dollars when they first came out. I think dealers were even asking a little bit higher, as high as sixty. I know the gold, the rose gold version of this was bringing seventy, seventy-two because I sold one to one of our guys here local. When it comes to the fifteen five hundreds, the blue dial, I remember buying one back in February for ninety-two thousand, and I sold it for ninety-five thousand. Now you can pick up a blue dial 15500, brand new. We just sold ours last week for 58000 uh, The silver dial, the black dials, they're bringing low 50s brand new. Those also were touching as high as, you know, 70, somewhere between 70 and 75000 brand new back in February. Prices went up crazy high. They've touched that before, but we've seen this happen at least once in my career where prices went kind of crazy high and then they dipped off. And then what ends up happening is when the market proves stuff can touch a point, it's got that point set there. It is eventually going to cross that point again, if not within the year, within two years or when it gets discontinued. So getting some of these watches at twenty, thirty thousand dollar discounts is not a bad idea if you've been looking at them for a while. This one's just cool because of its its history. We've uh, we've shown this a lot on Instagram, but this is the original offshore beast. This is from 1992. It is a full set, well, box papers, but it's got the archive papers, and this is dated from 1992 with service papers from a year or so ago, where it went back to AP. And the cool thing about this watch is it is a blue dial. It's 30 years old, and it's remained unpolished. That's Whenever we talk about does polishing affect the value of this watch, if you were to polish this watch, you'd kill most of the value of it. We've got it priced at 27,000. I'm su surprised it hasn't sold yet because when I was offering it around to dealers, dealers were offering me 25, 26, 27 to stock it. I don't know, maybe it's the hesitation of the market, but if you're looking for a piece of history, if you like bigger watches and you like the character and everything, this is a solid buy and you definitely won't go wrong with it. All right, guys, so we actually, both of our mics just died. We were going to go over a little bit more inventory. I don't want to just keep you guys hostage here for too long, so I felt like that was a good uh, kind of array. Actually, I do want to mention one more just because it's unique. I just talked about the Beast being 30 years old. This is another special piece we got in the other day. This is a Date 841, so it's a Date 8 2, 41 millimeter, 
white gold black factory diamond dial and what's unique about this it's from 2014 it's box papers complete it's it's brand new it's still fully stickered you've got the barcode sticker in there you've got stickers on the clasp stickers on the back of the case on the sides so this watch has made it eight years untouched and i believe we have it priced at 44,000 right now so anyway we're going to end the video off with that or with at least the inventory section because our mics have died and we don't want to drown you out with bad audio. The last thing I want to mention is we finally have our insurance in place for credit card processing. We stopped doing it because of a few chargebacks in the past. We are fully set up. We can take credit cards in person, online. You'll see them hopefully by the time this video posts. If not, sometime this week they will be live online, but we can take credit cards in store now and they will soon be available on the website. We appreciate you guys coming back uh, every week. If you like the video, don't forget to like it, subscribe, help us keep growing the channel. Comment below and uh, tell us what you like about the video and what you'd like to see more of. We're also still tossing around the, the, uh, the idea of another video, maybe this Thursday, if we can get it cut up and stuff. We have something ready, we just have to get it perfect for you guys. But I think you guys that have been a long time viewer of the channel will really love what we're gonna do. So guys, we appreciate the love, the support, and we'll see you next week.